Ever since rapper Glorilla hopped on the scene, she's been accumulating wins. Well, now that her album's dropped, she landed a whole nother win because she sold 69,000 units within the first week, which has her chilling on the number five spot on Billboard 200. So she also rapper Lotto, Ice Spice, and Megan Thee Stallion. Now this is where things get spicy because Megan Thee Stallion dropped her album, but she only pulled in 64,000 units, just 5,000 short of Glorilla's numbers which caused fans to look at this sideways because as we know, they were on tour together. Glorilla was the opening act for Megan Thee Stallion. So this is pretty much backwards and unusual. Things began to get messy when pop culture commentator Armin Wiggins sparked this conversation when he tweeted out, I've never heard of an opening act outselling the headliner. There's a lot to unpack, which caused someone to respond. What's there to unpack? Bart's been telling y'all that this girl isn't as big of an artist as they're making her out to be. It's all a facade. Despite the drama, this is a major win for Glorilla. She definitely leveled up and is claiming her spot as a legitimate artist in the game. While we're on the topic of making the stallion, she actually just snagged a major bag herself with the brand True Religion. And exciting as that is, is also bringing back some drama. A few months ago, Lotto posted a few pics rocking some True Religion jeans and fans immediately started accusing her of biting Sexy Red's style. True Religion has been Sexy Red's go-to and since they were the thing in the early 2000s, people thought Lotto was hopping on the bandwagon. To stir the pot, Sexy Red posted a cryptic tweet about people copying her which only fueled this drama. Naturally, Lotto wasn't feeling the rumors and clapped back, saying she wasn't trying to copy anybody. She explained that she wore the jeans for a 2000s themed party. Fast forward, the two ended up squashing their beef, collaborating, and showing each other love ever since. They made it clear there was no real drama between them. But here we are again with people trying to reignite the beef, this time dragging Megan Thee Stallion into it. You know how the internet loves to make something out of nothing, so that's pretty much what this is. So let's just hope that none of the girls fall victim to this and create actual drama.